Today I'm making strawberry love notes, a recipe I found on one of my favorite websites, delish.com. This recipe is by Lauren Mayashiro. Start off by roughly chopping about one cup of strawberries for the filling. I chose to make my own filling, but you can absolutely use your favorite dried preserves instead. We're going to add our strawberries to a pot with some sugar, cornstarch, lemon zest, and lemon juice. I also added about a quarter cup of water so the consistency wasn't too thick. Let the mixture simmer a little bit and then add about a half a cup of fresh strawberries. Mix those around and then use a masher to mash the strawberries up until it's a jam-like consistency. Then let the strawberries simmer a little bit until this consistency gets a little thicker. I also decided to make a raspberry filling so we're going to follow the same steps for that one next. Add your raspberries, then your sugar, cornstarch, and then some lemon zest. Squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there because you're going to want that extra acidity. Follow the same steps we did for the strawberries, but skip the water step. The raspberry filling cooks down quick, so make sure to keep an eye on it. I love the color of these raspberries, and that's why I chose it as an additional filling to the strawberry. And here comes the fun part, painstakingly cutting out diamonds by hand and cutting out little hearts that we're going to use to construct these cookies. This recipe says it takes 35 minutes total, including prep time. I'm going to tell you that that's an absolute lie, and this took me an entire day to do. Cutting out these little hearts and constructing these cookies in general were probably the only satisfying parts of this entire process. By day two of this entire process, I finally figured out to cut my own stencil out and use that to trace the diamonds. And now to the other fun part, construction. We're going to take our diamond pie crust and put a little egg wash on the sides. This is going to be our glue. Take a teaspoon of your filling and smush it down into the middle of the diamond. Fold the two sides in towards each other and then the bottom up just like the shape of an envelope. Take a little heart, put some egg wash on the back, and then put it right in the center of your envelope. Take some time to really make sure that pie crust is smushed down so none of the filling comes out during baking. Constructing each cookie took about two minutes and I had a little bit over 36 cookies that I made in total and that's not counting the first test batch that I made the day before. Place your constructed cookies on a baking sheet and we're going to freeze these for the next 30 minutes. That'll help them hold their shape in the oven. Take the cookies out of the freezer and then apply an egg wash liberally to the outside of the pie crust. Then sprinkle some granulated sugar on top before we pop these in the oven at 375 for 15 to 17 minutes. And here's the finished product. Not only were they so cute, but they were so delicious too. Definitely make these if you're looking for a challenge. <laughs> 